In this video, we look at the database concept of transaction processing. Transaction processing is any information processing that is divided into individual, indivisible operations called transactions. Each transaction must succeed or fail as a complete unit. It can never only be partially complete. All relational databases have certain base functionality, referred to using the acronym CRUD, the ability to create, read, update and delete. And these core functions map to the SQL statements, insert, create, select, update and delete. To ensure data integrity, transaction processing in all database management systems must conform to a set of rules. And these rules are referred to using the acronym ACID that stands for atomicity, consistency, isolation and durability. These four rules describe the properties required by every database transaction. So let's just have a look at them. First of all, atomicity. This means a change to a database is either completely performed or not at all. A half completed change must not be saved back to the database. The word atomicity comes from the word atom. It refers to the fact that we once thought the atom was the smallest particle and the singular building block for all other matter. There was no concept of having half an atom. Likewise, there should be no possibility of having a partially performed database transaction. Consistency. A change in the database must retain the overall state of the database. A good example of this is transferring of funds from one bank account to another. For example, when you pay for something online, money debited from one account must be balanced by the money being credited in another. If this was not the case, digitally speaking, money could literally vanish. And clearly we can't have this. Isolation. A transaction must not be interrupted by another transaction. The transaction must recur in isolation so other users or processes cannot access the data concerned. In practical terms, a DBMS enforces isolation by implementing a system of record locking. The records that are currently being affected by the transaction are locked, effectively placing them in a read-only or invisible state. Only when the transaction is fully completed will the lock be removed. And finally, durability. Once a change has been successfully made to a database, it must not be lost due to a system failure. So in real terms, durability is achieved by making sure the DBMS writes the effects or the outcome of a transaction immediately back to permanent secondary storage, rather than simply holding those changes in any form of temporary volatile storage, such as main memory. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. What are the primary considerations regarding transaction processing?